The buzz around AI tools like ChatGPT and Midjourney is reaching a fever pitch as they transform industries left and right. ChatGPT as an AI system may pose ethical risks to users who are unaware of how the technology works. But what if we told you there's an even more groundbreaking AI revolution happening right now? One that impacts the very core of everything we depend on today, including the powerhouse computers fueling ChatGPT and Midjourney. Well, welcome to the era of AI building AI. The best part? This earth-shattering breakthrough is not just for tech enthusiasts, it's an investment opportunity in of itself. So let's take a closer look at what's actually happening here. At the recent NVIDIA GTC conference, advancements in AI like ChatGPT and the hardware supporting it were discussed. NVIDIA's A100 GPUs tailored for machine learning and deep learning applications and their new H100 chips were highlighted. These H100 chips are being shipped to major companies and offer significant improvements in AI training speed. For instance, NVIDIA's H100 chips are nine times faster for AI training. Moreover, the H100 is an astounding 30 times faster for large inference models like GPT-4, which powers ChatGPT and diffusion models behind Dolly and Midjourney. These GPUs can be combined to create increasingly powerful systems at virtually any scale. By connecting eight H100 chips, a DGX H100 server Service system can be formed. Combining nine DGX H100 service systems creates a DGX pod, and linking 32 DGX pods results in a super pod, one of the world's most powerful computing systems. Considering the rapid adoption of AI tools like ChatGPT, it's expected that cloud computing platforms such as Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services will require substantial amounts of H100 service systems in the coming years. However, this leads to challenges in chip design and manufacturing as current methods are constrained by the precision required to create tiny patterns on silicon wafers and the speed at which those patterns can be calculated. The breakthrough lies in NVIDIA's innovative approach to chip manufacturing, as explained by CEO Jensen Huang in a three-minute clip from the GTC keynote. He discusses the process of making advanced chips like the H100s, the limitations of current techniques, and NVIDIA's groundbreaking solution. This development has even greater implications than what has been revealed. The chip industry is the foundation of nearly every industry. Chip manufacturing demands extreme precision, producing features 1,000 times smaller than a bacterium, and on the order of a single gold atom or a strand of human DNA. Lithography, the process of creating patterns on a wafer, is the beginning of the chip manufacturing process and consists of two stages, photo mass making and pattern projection. It is fundamentally an imaging problem at the limits of physics. The photo mask is like a stencil of a chip. Light is blocked or passed through the mask to the wafer to create the pattern. The light is produced by the ASML EUV Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography System. Each system is more than a quarter of a billion dollars. ASML EUV uses a radical way to create light. Laser pulses firing 50,000 times a second at a drop of tin, vaporizing it, creating a plasma that emits 13 and a half nanometer EUV light, nearly X-ray. Multi-layer mirrors guide the light to the mask. The multi-layer reflectors in the mask reticle take advantage of interference patterns of the 13 and a half nanometer light to create finer features down to three nanometers. Magic. The wafer is positioned within a quarter of a nanometer and aligned 20,000 times a second to adjust for any vibration. The step before lithography is equally miraculous. Computational lithography applies inverse physics algorithms to predict the patterns on the mask that will produce the final patterns on the wafer. In fact, the patterns on the mask do not resemble the final features at all. Computational lithography simulates Maxwell's equations of the behavior of the light passing through optics and interacting with photoresists. Computational lithography is the largest computation workload in chip design and manufacturing, consuming tens of billions of CPU hours annually. Massive data centers run 24-7 to create reticles used in lithography systems. These data centers 
are part of the nearly $200 billion annual capex invested by chip manufacturers. Computational lithography is growing fast as algorithm complexity increases, enabling the industry to go to two nanometers and beyond. NVIDIA today is announcing KuLitho, a library for computational lithography. KuLitho, a massive body of work that has taken nearly four years and with close collaboration with TSMC, ASML, and Synopsys, accelerates computational lithography by over 40 times. There are 89 reticles for the NVIDIA H100. Running on CPUs, a single reticle currently takes two weeks to process. Kulitho, running on GPUs, can process a reticle in a single eight-hour shift. TSMC can reduce their 40,000 CPU servers used for computational lithography by accelerating with Kulitho on just 500 DGX H100 systems, reducing power from 35 megawatts to just five megawatts. With Ku Litho, TSMC can reduce prototype cycle time, increase throughput, and reduce the carbon footprint of their manufacturing, and prepare for two nanometer and beyond. TSMC will be qualifying Ku Litho for production starting in June. So let's digest what Jensen Huang just said. Computational lithography is a process that helps figure out the design of each mask. These masks are used in making chips, like the H100 chip, which needs 89 different masks. Currently, it takes about two weeks to calculate the design of each mask using traditional computer processors. This can slow things down a lot, especially if a small change in the chip making material affects the light used in the process, requiring a new mask calculation. And since there are 89 different masks, Masks, changing one could lead to changing things in others, making the whole process even slower. NVIDIA's big breakthrough is about working with TSMC and ASML to change these mask design problems from something that runs on CPUs to something that can run on graphics processors. This change speeds up the calculation time from two weeks to just over eight hours and reduces the power needed from 35 megawatts to only five megawatts. This results in huge time and money savings. But let's discuss why this breakthrough is such a big deal. NVIDIA has managed to turn a massive calculation problem from a CPU-based issue to a GPU-based one. This allows TSMC to use fewer server CPUs and instead rely on just 500 DGX H100 systems or around 4,000 GPUs. This change reduces power consumption by a significant amount, which means they can reduce their carbon footprint and save on energy costs. However, chip manufacturers have already invested a lot of money in their data centers, so it's unlikely they will just want to save energy. Instead, they could potentially use this breakthrough to increase their resources by up to 280 times. This would allow them to produce the same amount of masks at much finer resolutions, possibly bringing us closer to one nanometer chip fabrication processes. Although there are still many improvements needed before we can achieve one nanometer chip production, but let's focus on the more immediate benefits. This breakthrough allows TSMC to increase its production capacity, which means more chips can be made and sold. This could result in lower costs for each chip, fewer chip shortages in the future, and ultimately lower prices or higher profit margins for products like smartphones, tablets, laptops, desktops, and software services with significant hardware costs. This groundbreaking breakthrough shows just how amazing AI can be in transforming different industries like the world of semiconductors. As AI keeps getting smarter and better, it can take on even more complex tasks that once seemed impossible. For instance, NVIDIA's Breakthrough used AI-powered GPUs to make chip manufacturing way faster and more efficient. This exciting development shows us that AI can make a real difference in speeding up and improving processes that were once slow and resource-heavy. Just imagine this, instead of merely increasing efficiency by doing the same work in less time with less power, we get a staggering 280 times boost in resources by utilizing 7 times more GPUs for the same power consumption. This enables calculating 40 times more masks in the same time frame without upgrading any fabrication equipment. Suppose chip makers leverage these resources to create masks at finer resolutions. In that case, we might be one step closer to achieving one 
nanometer chip fabrication processes. Of course, there are numerous other improvements to be made before reaching that milestone, such as enhancing motor sensitivity and modifying the EUV laser. However, let's focus on some of the more apparent benefits. This breakthrough enables TSMC to increase throughput, which translates to more chips in the market, reduced chip costs, fewer shortages, and ultimately, lower prices or higher margins for hardware and software services. This development has exciting implications for companies like Apple, which primarily relies on hardware revenue, or Tesla, which has reportedly signed a massive deal to use TSMC's 5 and 4 nanometer processes for their next-gen FSD chips. But it goes beyond simply producing more of the same chips. The ability to design 40 times more masks means handling up to 40 times more chip designs for the same power consumption, at least until the next bottleneck in the chip fabrication process. Just imagine having four times as many chip designs before encountering another roadblock. We could build more specialized chips for various applications such as genome sequencing, protein folding, cryptocurrency mining, and online gaming. This would allow companies to design and manufacture more specialized application-specific chips, reducing competition for resources due to supply constraints. This shift has far-reaching consequences for companies like NVIDIA, Amazon, and Microsoft. For instance, Amazon's development of energy-efficient graviton processors for AWS servers has already signaled to other cloud providers that homegrown chips are a viable option. Microsoft has partnered with a startup called Amper to produce ultra CPUs for Microsoft Azure, which are built on TSMC 7 and 5 nanometer processes, perfectly positioned to benefit from this mass computing breakthrough. This virtuous cycle of AI building AI is likely to continue accelerating the semiconductor industry. While some may find this exciting, others may perceive it as terrifying. But if you find this content valuable, consider hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel for more.